Welcome to Power System Experts. This is Power Electronics series with PS Care. It's our second session on of the series on design and simulation of a boost converter. The contents of this session will be an introduction to boost converter, the circuit diagram and working of boost converter, its operation, and there will be a design example and simulation example in PS CAD. So a boost converter is a power electronic circuit which is used to convert low value DC voltage into high value DC voltage or it is a step up converter for DC voltage. Here you see a basic circuit of boost converter. It consists of an inductor in series with the source and a MOSFET or an IGBT which is connected on the other side of the inductor and ground. The uh, drain or collector of the MOSFET or IGBT is connected to the inductor and its emitter or source is connected to the ground and there is a diode in forward direction and the capacitor on the output side. Uh, this is the circuit of converter and there will be a gate driver circuit obviously. So the transfer function of boost converter is a function of uh, input voltage and the duty cycle. Uh, it's given here V out is equals V in divided by 1 minus D and here you can see a plot of this uh, transfer function. So it's, an, uh, it's a non-linear function, you can see that. So when the, uh, the D can vary between uh, uh, 0 and 1, but uh, if D is equal to 1 in an, uh, <clears throat> theoretically the output voltage would be infinite which is obviously not possible. Therefore, the duty cycle of a boost converter is kept within uh, 0.7 or 0.8 maximum uh, because if uh, uh, for duty cycles greater than that, uh, there might be instability in case of a close to boost converter. So the pressure of boost converter is that when the MOSFET or the IGBT is on, the current flows through the inductor into the ground and the inductor is charged uh, during this cycle and the load is driven by the capacitor which was charged in the previous cycle. So when the MOSFET or IGPT is off, the polarity of the voltage across the inductor will be reversed because the current direction of uh, the current through the inductor has to be constant. This is the basic property of inductor. And now the voltage across the inductor comes in series with the source voltage. So the voltage appearing at the output will be the V source plus V inductor. In this way, the voltage is boosted on the output side. Moving towards uh, design of a boost converter. This is the formula for uh, calculation of inductor for continuous current through the load. And this is the formula for minimum value of inductor. So you have to keep the value of inductor greater than this. Normally uh, we can easily say 10 times. 10 times it will be uh, a good choice and it will give very low output triple voltage. And uh, this is duty cycle. The R is the output uh, load resistance. It comes from the Ohm's law according to this formula. And the rating, current rating of the inductor which is very important. It must be very much greater than I out divided by 1 minus D. Uh, you can select four times maybe uh, uh, of this value. The formula for calculation of capacitor is uh, D out times A out divided by R times delta V which is the triple voltage uh, in the output voltage and FS is the switching frequency, so any value greater than uh, this, uh, the value from this formula will work. And the IGBT or MOSFET and diode must be overrated according to the way respect to inductor current. For example, if inductor current is one ampere, your IGBT or MOSFET uh, must be greater than uh, one ampere, the current rating, and the voltage rating should be greater than the output voltage. Uh, so let's uh, design a practical buck converter. For example, say you have to drive a 2 ampere load with uh, 24 volts, uh, which operates on 24 volts, and you got a 12 volt supply. So you will need a boost converter for which input voltage is 12 volts, output voltage is 24 volts, and duty cycle according to the transfer function of a boost converter becomes uh, 0 0.5. 
and say you need, uh, you can tolerate two percent ripple in the output voltage, which would be 0.24. Oh, sorry, it's uh, one percent. One percent. Okay, uh, say a switching frequency of 50 kilohertz. Choose, just use it. So according to the formula for minimum value of inductor, your inductance becomes 15 microhenry. So we choose a 150 microhenry inductor. Uh, it's 10, 10 times that. And the minimum value of capacitor for the uh, selected ripple voltage uh, becomes 83.34 microfarad. So we will select 100 microfarad capacitor and the output voltage ripple will be less than 0.24 in this case. So now let's move towards PSK simulation. Let's open PSK. It's open now. Click PSK new new case and name your case. Boost motor. That's good. So a case is opened here. You should download previous cases. Okay. Okay. So go to master library and go to SVDC facts library. We are going to need an IGBT and a diode from here. Copy them. Paste them. So in this way, we are going to find other elements in other libraries. Go to sources. Select the source. Go to passive elements. Select a load resistor, an inductor, a capacitor, and ground element. Go to common signals and functions and select this function generator and paste it. We need some current and voltage meters. Go to components and select an emitter for inductor voltage current for load current. This is for input voltage and this is for output voltage. So we got everything here and now let's arrange everything. We have arranged everything in the right fashion but we will configure everything before we connect them. So go to configuration. It's a DC source. It's an ideal source. Go to 6 millimeters to set its voltage. Just 12 volts and the reference time is 1 milliseconds. That's good. The inductor is 150 millihenry, 150 microhenry. Microhenry. The capacitor is 100 microfarad. The load is 12 ohms. And we are not needed this number circuit in the diode. And name this meter as Vn. This one as V out. V out. It's I load. This is high inductor. So everything is uh, now configured. Okay, that's this one. Our switching frequency is 50 kilohertz. It will be a pulse and the duty cycle will be 50%. That's okay. And one more thing, interpolation compatibility enabled. Okay, now we are going to connect everything. So we have connected everything. 
Now let's paste output channels for all our meters. Bring an output channel, place it here. Name it input voltage. And scale it by 1000. And its unit is volts. Okay, in this way, we are going to put output channels in for all our signals. Pick a data level, place it in the input of the output channel, and name it begin. We are going to place output channels for all our signals. We have placed output channels for all our signals. Let's play cross for them. Click or right click on the output channel, go to graphs, meters, and controls, and add a overlay profit signal and place it. To expand your sheet, go to wave size and select a larger size. In this way, we are going to place output graphs for all our output signals. We have placed graphs for all our signals. Now let's place a gate label. Select a data level, place it on the output of function generator, name it gate and copy, paste this label and place it on the gate of your IGBT. So everything is modeled. Now go to project, set duration of run to 100 milliseconds. Time step to 1 microseconds and channel close step to 1 microseconds also. Go to home and build your case. It's successfully built. Now run it. Yes, running. And it's complete. Click on a graph and press R to give you a signal. So you see that the input voltage is 12 volts, the output voltage is 24 volts. Let's zoom in. It's 24 volts. The output current is 2 ampere. And the inductor current has a, some has some ripple. You can see that. You can zoom in and see the ripple actually. This is the ripple in an inductor current. So that's all for boost converter. See you in the next session. Thank you.